Gasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay, and today we'll be looking at Captain Toad for the Wii U. Mm, Toad, yeah. Must be a pretty fun guy. I don't know, there's not much room for anyone else in my life. <laughs> So here we are with Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and right as the game boots you get this cute little tutorial that shows you the game's main objective to completing each level. Yep, collect the iconic stars. Once done, Toadette is carried off by this big bird, and the main game begins. First thing you notice is the insane clarity and beautiful colours of the title. The innovation is obvious from the word go, with the ability to tilt the camera by moving the gamepad around. The objective for each level is simple, move Toad around the small world and figure out how to collect the star. Toad can't jump, so he has to rely on raising platforms and other little tricks to get around. You can attack enemies by pulling up turnips, etc., and throwing them. Also, on each level are three little gemstones that you can collect, as well as other hidden items. Although small, each level can be quite complex, and you will miss things that multiple playthroughs will be needed to collect everything. Also, in each level, there are challenges, like in this level, for example, the challenge is to complete it without breaking this bridge. Oh, Jay, you broke it! Well, that's the way the bridge crumbles. That was awful. Anyway, it's proof that incredible level design can be achieved in such a small play area. This level uses the gamepad again and its touchscreen to move platforms about to give you access to different parts of the level. There's a locked door that requires a key and a challenge that will have you trying to complete it in only three moves. How many did you get, Jay? Um, about 20, uh, I know, replay time. The puzzles are very varied throughout each level and some will really tax your mental abilities. This level featuring two toads that you control at the same time can be tricky, navigating mazes and activating buttons to aid your partner through doors and down to different platforms. Toad can be killed in two hits, sending you right back to the start of the level. Thankfully, the levels aren't that big, so it's all good. Plus, you'll have probably missed a ton of secrets on your way through anyway, so having another opportunity to mop up those secrets and collectibles is always a good thing. This minecart level was awesome too. You get to ride a minecart and throw turnips at the coin boxes. The cool thing is, you get Toad's first person perspective on the gamepad so you can aim at all the targets. If you were a fan of the Captain Toad minigame segments in Mario World, then you're going to be in Hog's Heaven with this incredibly cute instalment, as if you have Mario 3D World saved data on your Wii U, then you can play levels from Mario 3D World as Toad! And this is Toad's first ever game with him as the starring role. It's super fun and has tons of longevity and gameplay that simply catapults this game straight into Nintendo's Hall of Fame, and we're awarding this a Super Gamegasm 10! Gbus Nintendo, you're on a roll! Captain Toad on the Wii U, a marvellous game, and many hours are going to be played uh, getting through those complex little mini puzzle maps. It's uh, an awesome game, well worth it. Yeah, definitely, and uh, if you enjoyed watching, uh, don't forget to leave us a like and uh, find us on Facebook. And subscribe on YouTube, because uh, you know we love that, and we love uh, hearing from you, and we love all our fans, and yeah, let's keep this trainer rolling. I've been Bren, I've been Jay, and we've been Game Gasm. <laughs>